Madam Speaker. This past weekend, the Uyenene Retiana Foundation held a commemorative protest to mark two years since the tragic and absolute brutal murder of Uyenene. The foundation had sent out postcards across the country for women and girls to write their experiences. Out of the 12,000 responses, here are some. And I quote, one day my child's father chased me with a hammer. I fell and he hit me on my back. While I was giving my statement, the police told me, you're not dead, so relax till morning, close quote. This is the response women are given when they report violence. Minister Becky Trele, how do you sleep at night knowing that this type of service and the institution you are leading, I keep saying, the SAPS remain the weakest link in the chain to fight GBVF. A grade one learner wrote, open quote, women are strong. My mom works and I want her to be safe on a taxi, close quote. A child in grade one is about seven years old and they are already aware of the dangers women face. Minister Mashabane, wherever you are, Seven-year-olds are being raised in a society where they fear for their mother's life and hopes she comes home safely every day. But yet you lead a department that is literally doing nothing to change this. You, minister, are the head of incompetency and you must change it. A grade 10 learner wrote, and I open quote, I want everyone to feel safe. The stark reality, Honorable Chief Whip of the Opposition, is that women and girls are not safe under the current dispensation. And the prospects of a safe society seems to be slipping out of our hands every day, every week, month and year that goes by with the slow implementation of the NSP. South African women and girls do not deserve such content from those who lead them. We deserve so much better. A woman wrote, and I quote, what have we done as women to receive such silent treatment from the one body that is supposed to be protecting us? What have we done as women that even our very own women in parliament do not feel the pain, our pain as women are abused and killed every day, close quote. I am here to tell you that we do feel your pain because your pain is our pain. And even though it sometimes feels like there is no one in your corner, know that there are women in this house doing everything they can to hold those who use GBV as a political tool to account without fear and without favor. The last postcard I read was, open quote, I do not want to die with my arms up and my legs open, close quote. If this does not sum up the lived experiences of women in, and girls in this country, I do not know what does. Women in South Africa are indeed dying with their arms strapped behind them and their legs open. Women continue to die every single day. They are being chopped, slaughtered, maimed, and ripped apart. Girlfriends and wives are beat down, dragged by their hair, and used like worn out punching bags. Girls are being raped every day and taken advantage of by older men. A 10 year old child knows nothing of consent. This is pedophilia, and we should all be disgusted. Mark my warning, honorable members, if we do not start seriously taking stock of the reality, we will be back here speaking about the same issues with no end in sight. We have to do better, not for ourselves, but for those who come after us and that grade one learner who wants his mom to be safe. I thank you.